Built during World War I, the original Alumni Hall structure was constructed as the Masonic Temple of Pittsburgh. The hall was constructed as a fully functional space, nine stories tall, accommodating 98,000 square feet. In 1993, the University of Pittsburgh purchased the old hall and renovated for over $8 million. The university once again expanded the interior spaces and added another $16 million to accommodate four lobbies, a ballroom, and three fully operational entrances. During this renovation, the majority of the building was restored to the original color schemes and material finishes based on the 1914 construction of the original Masonic Temple. The structure was only utilized for meeting areas and assemblies for Freemasons, but the current usage as the university varies from alumni relations offices to financial aid, from headquarters of the Pitt Pathfinders to the Office of Governmental Relations, from the Institute of Politics to the Center for Instructional Development. The university truly utilizes the, the space for all trades and students' points of life, all the way from entering the school to post-graduation services and a little bit of everything in between. Also inside the massive hall are a ballroom on the first floor, which can hold up to 500 people and an auditorium on the seventh floor, which hosts events and galleys regularly. Students and faculty come and go, but one particular guest has actually made a permanent home here, whether he knows it or not. There has been numerous reports of a tall man clad in black tuxedo and bow tie who roams the building in the evenings. The custodial staff and campus police have all witnessed this occurrence. The man doesn't seem to have any place that he is going, but rather just wandering the halls aimlessly. He has never once tried to communicate with anyone. He simply walks the halls, disappearing into walls and around corners. There has never been an explanation for this entity, nor a name associated with him. Perhaps he is a former Freemason who enjoyed his time in the Masonic Temple, that he prefers to remain there during his eternal rest.